Yo people, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're breaking down some film on Kyle Phillips, UCLA wide receiver. He's a shifty slot type, really fun route runner to watch on tape. So let's get right into this one. Okay, so we got Kyle Phillips in the slot here. That's where he's going to be at the next level. He's a small shifty slot type, like I said earlier. So we're going to watch this at full speed. He's got a corner here playing off man coverage, inside leverage, takes an inside stem, re-stems vertical, attacks, nice little rocker step at the break point right there. Catches the ball into his chest. He could work on that, but let's just watch this one more. Break it down slowly. First, like, two steps inside. Attacks that inside leverage. DB stays patient, and then he re-stems vertically. Now, he's manipulating the DB's leverage here with those first couple steps inside. Attacks back to the outside shoulder. Eats up the cushion, and then gives him a 1-2 rocker step nice just violent break gets completely out of out of it at a 90 degree angle really smooth ball into his chest catches it adjusts to the back like to his back shoulder a bit right there but yeah just manipulating leverage immediately stems the inside once he does this the corner probably thinks it's an in breaking route restem vertically attack the outside shoulder to try to get him to open up freeze the db's feet create separation just a master class of route running by Kyle Phillips here. Sometimes he will do a little bit too much when the QB's drop is, you know, one or three steps, and he should just be running his route, get into it right away. But when he's got some more time, he gets, I mean, they even brought pressure there, and he still was able to work this whole plan of attack. Good job mixing up his pace. Just a really hard guy to cover because he mixes up his routes so often. Okay, so we got some more Phillips here. This time he's lined up against Derek Stingley, who's one of the best corners in this class as well. Been one of the best corners in the country since he was a freshman. He really excels versus like these off-man type of coverages, zone match type of coverages. Um, that's where like you work him in the slot, he gets some free releases where he doesn't get pressed, be with physicality. But he's just really sudden out of his breaks. Let's just watch that full speed. Works a nice little skip step. Creates separation. Stingley had outside leverage because where the safety was. Look at just shifty after the catch. Tough. Stingley gets a little lazy there. So he's so Stingley's got outside leverage. Thinking he has help to the inside. He skips, seizes outside leverage, and then just bursts immediately to open space. And then he just quick feet, makes this guy miss, makes him trip, stops on a dime, re shows off uh, some contact balance there, um, and then re-accelerates for the end zone. Just, just a really good job of accelerating, decelerating in and out of his breaks, doing it after the catch well to be shifty, elusive in space. Just a really fun slot receiver, you know. One of those guys that you're going to get in like the fourth round at the earliest, you know. Could end up going even later than that just because he's small, won't run the fastest 40 and all of those types of things. Just one of those steals that you'll get in like the sixth round. Uh, so yeah, more for Phillips here. Okay, so we got another play from Phillips here. This is actually very similar to the first play that I showed. Very similar situations. Um, so let's watch this right here. Nether inside stem, re-stem vertically, but this time works like a little double up move there. So he sets this up, right? Using a similar move inside, then re-stemming vertically, then doing the choppy steps like he's going to break outside immediately, then press vertical, gets the DB to open up his hips thinking now like, oh shit, like he's running deep this time. And then suddenly out of the break, just... You can't keep up with that. You can't mirror and match that. You have to be an elite athlete to stop a guy like this. Just really look at the footwork. Just amazing. Just snaps off those routes. Gets out of his breaks really quickly and takes really good angles. Just manipulating pace, manipulating leverage of the DB. Just a really exciting player to watch. Okay, so who is Kyle Phillips and who does he project to be at the next level? He's going to be a solid starting slot receiver, in my opinion. It might take him a little bit to get there. He'll probably start off as your like number four, your number five guy. And if he can work on his timing with the QB, if he builds a relationship with them, he's going to be a very good player in the NFL for a very long time. These guys carve out roles on teams. Every team needs a player like Kyle Phillips. I mean, you're probably going to see this guy, you know. Everyone probably thinks he should go to the Patriots. I mean, he probably would do great there, you know, go to the Bucks play with Brady because he thrives with these types of receivers. He's your, you know, your Welkers, your Edelmans, that type of player. Um, just really solid player, has good hands. He lets some come, the ball come into his body a little bit too much at times. 
He won't make too many plays deep down the field, but he's solid after the catch. Very good route runner. Competitive, physical. He's tough. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Or if you didn't, you don't have to do any of this. Thing. That's cool too. Peace.